desperate to overturn a century-old dry law that has been around in part of the Heights. It's an issue voters will take to the general election. Channel 2's Samantha Stashkin is live tonight. Samantha, those behind this effort were today trying to garner support, right? Yeah, and you know, one of the biggest supporters of this measure is HEB. The grocery store chain has been looking to open up a new store in that dry zone area of the Heights, but of course, they don't want to do that if they can't sell alcohol. Now, if this measure passes next month, they will be able to sell beer and wine. They just won't be able to serve it on site. The Houston Heights is known for its sense of community and charm. Little city in the big town. But next month, about 10,000 residents who live within the Heights dry zone are set to take a vote which breaks with tradition. Yes, I, I will absolutely vote for it. Today, resident Marie Wise joined Heights community leaders to push support for a measure that would lift the area's ban on beer and wine sales. The ban went into effect in 1912 during the Prohibition Movement. It's a pretty archaic law and it uh, has restricted economic development in the Heights for over 100 years. Supporters of the measure gathered at the site of an old fiesta on North Shepherd. They're hoping it will be the site of a new HEB amid what has become a sort of grocery store desert. I actually drive all out all the way out to Buffalo Speedway to go shop right now. There just simply aren't enough good quality, clean places in the neighborhood. But for some residents, even the prospect of convenient shopping won't get them to vote yet. Yes, they want to preserve what makes the Heights unique. It has nothing really to do with the practical part of uh, keeping bars out of the Heights anymore. It's more about uh, just being a part of uh, what was important. And if the measure does pass next month, HEB says it's planning to open up its new store at that North Shepherd location in January of 2018. Reporting live, Samantha Patashkin, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you.